everybody, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good today. So today we are starting a new series, guys. And I want you to know before we even talk about this series or what we're doing, that I want you to know that uh, that our LP, like Let's Play Minecraft, is absolutely 100% my focus. Um, this is a side series. When I typically the LP episodes take about six to eight hours to record and get finished and upload and render. Um, once that's done, I typically have a day in between to start working on the next episode. And that's when this series will come in. Sometimes it'll be posted, sometimes it won't. But I do want you to know that I'm going to work my tail off to try to get you the best content as you know as possible. And I got to be honest with you guys, I'm a little nervous about posting this because things have been going so well on the channel. I don't want to ruin that, you know. So, uh, besides that, I just want to thank you guys again, because, like, seriously, there's just so many great comments. You guys, like, seriously love the, the LP videos, so I'm hoping that you like this series as much. I'm going to work just as hard for you, because I love you guys. And uh, I just want to show a couple comments on screen right now, uh, some of the comments from the LP sh uh, series. And if I missed a, a, a comment, I'm sorry, there's just so many to choose from. <laughs> so thank you guys for all of your love I really appreciate it and this is for you so I figured it would be kind of cool to have one vanilla series and one modded series and that's all the series I'll be making I don't want to overextend myself I don't want to stop or start anymore just two series should be fine so we are going to start a new world and one of the reasons why I chose FTB Infinity Evolved is because they have this thing called expert mode an expert mode is like modded Minecraft on crack. <laughs> and if you've ever um, if you've ever played Greg Tech before, it's like Greg Tech, but a little bit less strenuous. So it's hard, but it's not Greg Tech hard. So I'm playing with cheats on because you need cheats to be able to set it to expert mode. Um, and oh by the way um i will link the pack uh i guess it would be the information for the pack down below so you can see all the bods uh as well as when we get in here i'll show you the seed and put the seed in the description as well um oh by the way for world downloads for this and my lp series i will be putting up uh, world downloads out every five episodes i've decided uh, and that will just oh wow that's that's cool we spawned in a, oh there's a giant village over there too well, well then, <laughs> that's fun. So, um, starting off, there is no expert mode. We have to actually turn it on expert mode, and that is why I put cheats on, because we need to do this command. Uh, you are currently playing in normal mode. If you wish to switch to expert, type the following command, slash FTB mode set expert. FTB mode set expert. There we go. So that's going to do that, and we'll do the seed as soon as that's finished. And uh, seed, there we go. So I'll put both. Of, I'll put that down in the description as well as a link to the pack. Uh, and like I said, guys, I really just want to thank you guys for all of your continued support. You guys are so amazing. Uh, the first thing we are absolutely doing is checking out this, um, this village over here. So if you don't know what this pack is about, well, you know previously FTB Infinity was a pack that I played with the Hermits. Um, and one of the cool things about this pack is the expert mode. This is one of the reasons why I started playing it in the first place. Expert mode makes everything harder. So say if I was to mine this piece of wood right here, instead of giving me four planks, it gives me two. And instead of giving me four sticks, it gives me two. And things like that are very, very hard. So for example, if I were to want to make a furnace um, and spell it correctly, this furnace right here, so let's say compressed cobblestone, but we can craft a slab furnace and then like things like that, like for example, like a pickaxe, um, you know, this only has one durability. This has five, this has 63, the diamond pickaxe has one durability. So there's a lot of uh, challenges to this pack that are going to make it a lot of fun, guys. I think we're really going to enjoy this. Holy crap. The ender. Oh, this is, uh, this must be a new... Uh, durability for it. So that's a very cool find. I'm going to put those up. It looks like we started with 16 apples, by the way, as well. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else here we want to check out, but I'm definitely going to look around. 
Um, so I was thinking, what should we do for the, you know, the, the start of this series? And I think the absolute first thing that we need to do is get into Tinker's Construct. And I say Tinker's Construct um, for a couple reasons. All of the durability, you just saw all the durability on the pickaxes were all pretty much taken away, right? Well, with that being said, how are we supposed to, you know, get anything going if we don't have Tinker's? But one cool thing about Tinker's Construct is if you don't know this, Cobblestone actually can make the seared brick that you need um, for the bricks. And since uh, we don't have a lot of material, and like any kind of furnace is basically out of the question. I mean, like, so for example, like a redstone furnace that would come with uh, that would come with thermal expansion um, takes like an assembly table and uh, any other furnaces that we see, like besides the regular furnace, like, you know, iron furnace takes plates. So there's lots of things like that. So Tinker's Construct is basically mandatory right away. Uh, I'm gonna come up here and see if there's any carrots. Uh, I'm gonna grab these, because we can make a juicer and make some early food with this, and this will be very, very good. Am I not picking that up? Hello? Okay. That was weird. They just kind of like stopped throwing particles down. Maybe there's like a chance they don't drop or something. Anyways, so one of the cool things about cobblestone is that when you want to make seared brick, uh, this stuff right here, you can actually use cobblestone to make that. So I think one of the goals that we want to do today is get a cobblestone generator uh, with a node set up. And that way we can just make all the seared brick we need without having to worry about grout or anything like that. I want to go up there too. I don't know what that building is. And uh, that's going to be exciting. So I'm going to do that. But firstly, I've got to collect wood. I've got to get cobblestone and uh, just kind of play the game. So um, I'm going to skip all of that pretty much boring stuff and come back once I have a little bit of progress. But what is this? This is a farmhouse. This is new. I've never seen this before. This is kind of cool, actually. Uh, this is AgriCraft. I do know how this mod works a little bit. I didn't know Pam's one in there, though, so this is pretty cool. We'll leave all this here just in case we might need it later, though. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to look at. There was only the one farm. There's looks like there's something over there, but I need to get wood. I need to get a bed. Ooh, there's a Tinker's house down there. There's actually two of them. Okay, so that is, yeah, that's definitely something we want to look at. Oh, and there is one other thing I like to do. When I play um, modded Minecraft, I love to play with Magnemote on. So we're going to do that. So what is in here? Shut the door there. He's like, I'm leaving. Uh, paper binding. We might actually be able to get a decent pickaxe started here. Uh, bone pickaxe, I'll take that, and then paper binding, I'll take the bone binding. We already have a sword, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'll take the bone axe head as well, and then I'm going to put that in there. Let's go over to the other one really quickly. Ooh, what's this as well? I've never seen this before either. Uh, this is a lot of books. Witchery, witchery, it's like all witchery stuff. And Thaumanomicon. So Thaum I didn't even know Thaumcraft was in this pack, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, we'll also grab the wool from the, in here to make a bed. So uh, put that up. So I definitely want a shovel head. Uh, this one has more durability than that one, so I'll take that one. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go to actually make a early game set of tools here. So let me grab this. So we're going to need uh, a little bit of wood here. We're going to need three uh so i'll grab grab you i'll grab four pieces of wood here we'll make some early game tools that'll really really help us in the fact that uh we'll be able to mine stuff <laughs> or even basically do anything um oh oh what was in here i don't want that or that okay um we've already got a sword I wonder if there's a full guard in here i don't see a full guard anyways uh so let's see we need to make some sticks Grab you, you, you. And as you can see, we uh, we only got half of the sticks that we needed, so you. So, um, 180 durability. That's actually pretty decent. Um, 200 durability. And what is our pickaxe going to have? Um, oh, wow, we can mine down to redstone with that. 
So we got very, very lucky on the first day, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go out and sort of get, get things going here. And, uh, I will come back shortly when I've got more to talk about. Okay, so I found another village, but guys, I think this village is broken. Where'd it go? This village is broken. <laughs> what the world? I don't even know what that is. I think, I have no clue what that is. Uh, but... This is a cool village, and what is this thing? Dude, this is awesome! It's a little castle! Um, this is our base, absolutely. Yes. Dude. I dub the Jevin Castle! That's right, that is my new castle. And now, what's in here? I will definitely take that. Dude, this is... This is awesome! I don't want to take any of that other stuff. Now, what else is around here? We got that. Uh, taters. I don't want taters. I made a uh, juicer, by the way. Juicer lets us make carrot juice. And carrot juice is one of the most OP items ever. And so, ba bam. Ba bam. Oh, party. So what would to happen if I were to break the glass? Kill him! Attack! On guard! Oh! Wrecked! Go! Go! Oh, oh, no, 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 don't hurt me! Wow! <laughs> oh God! Dude, he's all in his face. Look at him go! Wow! They freaking wrecked him! Uh. Yep, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there for now. And we will figure out what that is later. Ooh, more carrots. Grab these. That's free food. What else is around here? Let's look on our mini-map. Uh, there's another loot. There's another Tinker's. Tinker's house right here. Another loot right there. I don't know what that is or that. So let's go check this stuff out. Ooh. What are you? Dude. How do I... How do I get in there? Okay, so this is a little farm. This is classy, yo. What is that? A sprinkler? Dude. A seed analyzer? Is there like a door? Dude, this is the sweetest place ever. So this leads outside, but there's like something up there. A wooden water tank. This is like the sweetest village of all time. What in the world? I don't even know what, oh, there's an iron golem. I don't even know what like half of this stuff is. I haven't played this, I haven't played like new modded Minecraft in quite a while. So let's see what's in here. This is quite fancy. We, oh, magic chalk, that's pretty good. That takes us to that one biome that I always die in. And then there's a bunch of books up there. And then there's a railcraft house. Well, this is, uh, this is quite the village, man. We are definitely, definitely staying here. I dub the iJevin land. And we shall conquer all with here. This turned out to be pretty good. I gotta be honest with you. Let me, uh, juice some more juice. Now, where is that, uh, that Tinker's house is over here. You, sir? What do you have in here? Bone pickaxe, that might be... I'm gonna leave that there. Anything in here? Yeah. I don't wanna make no frying pan. I don't want none of them there frying pans. You know what I wanna know? What is that white thing over here? That's what I wanna know. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this? And why is there snow on the ground? No, that is a dimensional blank block. And this is from RF Tools. Can I break this? I can. Grass block. How do you craft this? Huh. Okay. Well, none of these look like they're anything different. So, 
I guess we'll just leave it there. Maybe you guys can enlighten me as to what that is. Anyways, let's take a look at our new humble abode over here. I dub the Jevon Castle. This thing is awesome. Uh, so it goes up. Ooh, fancy, and it's even got a top part to it. So that one's even taller. Was it? Ooh, I think there's a Skellingtron over there. Then there's that floaty glass house. I gotta admit, guys, I'm really, really liking our castle. Uh, looks like there's a Lucky Block Shrine over there. Okay, well, we know what we gotta do. I want, um, I think I'm gonna pull, this is cool. I'm definitely gonna set up up here, I think. Um, I need to get a cobblestone generator going so we can start with, uh, Tinkers. And once I, I'm gonna open this up a little bit. We are definitely staying here. <laughs> and once I get, um, get Tinkers going, or not Tinkers, but once I get, uh, get uh, enough stuff to get started, I'll come back. Oh, I think I'm all prepared. Besides the iron, I think I'm good. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. We gotta craft some stuff first. So the first thing I'm going to craft is um, our transfer pipe. There we go. Then I'm going to craft uh, our node. And so we've got a chest, stone, and then the pipe. So chest, stone, ender pearl, redstone, pipe. So there's our four nodes. Let me grab that and make one more brick. There we go. So the Tinker stuff is set up. So the only thing we need to make now is the world interaction upgrade, which is going to take uh, seven iron. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. We'll also grab you. And I was just trying to think if there was anything else I might need. Um, we're going to need some lava, but that's fine. Now that, that actually is kind of a problem. Uh, I think we're gonna have to smelt more iron. Um, well, I've got eight iron there. Where in the world did I get that eight iron from? I don't remember smelting eight iron, whatever. <laughs> that works. Uh, so, okay, let's go ahead and make the interaction upgrade. Uh, you. You, you, and you know what I just realized? I'm not sure I can make this work. I just realized that I'm missing something. I'm missing a bucket, and I'm not sure that I can actually craft a bucket. I need to be able to make lava. That could be a huge problem. Um, what is the interaction upgrade? Oh, it's a diamond pickaxe. Oh my goodness, that changes everything. I didn't find any diamonds. Um, okay, well first off, let's see if we can get any lava. Um, oh well, here, let's look at buckets. Is there any type of other bucket that we can use? Not really. That is a problem. Because I can't make any of that. And to be able to make a lava, to be able to make a bucket, you need a hammer. And to make the hammer, you need treated sticks. And I do not have treated wood. That takes creosote, uh, which is going to require a cold coke oven. So as you can see now, the pack is starting to like kind of poke its head out a little bit. Now diamonds, I'm not too worried about. Um... Because where I was mining, there could possibly be diamonds there and I just didn't see them. So not worried about the diamonds. But the bucket is a huge issue. So we are going to have to improvise. How are we going to get lava into our system? Because you can't just make a bucket. Uh, there isn't any clay buckets either. So I might have to make a creosote oven. Uh, it's not that bad. It's only for one bottle. You know what we might do? We might get lucky here. I'm not sure. First off, let's, let's eat some of this. There was one thing I haven't checked yet. There might be creosote in there. We need to go over here. While I'm here, I also want to grab a couple things. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to go in here. This Railcraft dungeon, or not dungeon, but this Railcraft thing 
could have what we're looking for. Yes! That, my friends, is clutch. And, the, um, I'm also... Let me kill this too short. There we go. Let me steal this guy right here. Now we don't have to make an engine. <laughs> that thing is going to come in super handy. Okay, so we are back in business. I will need to get diamonds. That's not an issue, though. Um, there's a creeper. No. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to go find diamonds really quickly. I only need three to make the diamond pickaxe. Um, which shouldn't take me all that long. Because like I said, where I was mining... Um, if you saw where I was mining, you would understand. Uh, matter of fact, I'll show you that now. Alright, you guys are going to think I am absolutely insane here. But I died um, trying to get to these diamonds that I found. Uh, I basically just fell off the edge. and um... <laughs> So, I've got three iron pickaxes because they have one durability. And I don't see a gravestone. Well, oh, there is a gravestone. Hmm. Anyways, so these all have one durability. And you know what I might try to do here really quickly? I might try to flood that over there. Or something. Uh, that won't go underneath of that, okay. Uh, I can't just break it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I do that... Huh. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. Let me grab some more gravel. Um, I can't just... I guess I could just break it. I mean, I do have magnet mode on. Well, I got some stuff back. I'm not sure how much. I got... Uh, my, my tools are broken. I got my sword back. And my food. That's good. Okay. Hey, it didn't break. Oh, neat. It has two durability. Alright, well, I got my three diamonds. I got my stuff back. That is all I could ask for. So I think we are good to go to start working on our project now. So now that we have diamonds, we should be good to go. Uh, diamond pickaxe. You, 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 you. You, 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 you. Probably have those backwards. I think I always put those backwards. It's probably not a time in my life that I have not crafted that correctly. So, that's all taken care of. Now, we need to make treated wood, which is this. There we go. And we need to make uh, some treated sticks. You. And then we need to make a forge hammer. So there's the hammer. Then... There we go. Bucket. Now, I think that is everything I'm going to need. Um, we'll need this. So, let's get started. First off, we're going to need to make cobblestone generator. So we're going to put this thing, like, right here, I think. Grab you. And I broke out the wrong block. Um... I need a piece of cobblestone. Let me... Cobblestone. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up to make this make uh, automatic seared brick. That way we can make a huge smeltery super, super easy. Whoa. And this, folks, is why we make four of them. <laughs> um, which ones are stairs? Stone slab. Well, I, I got stairs from something. Let's put it right there for now. Stupid creeper. Blowing up my house. What a jerk, dude. Um, here, I'm gonna... I'll... Well, I won't block this off, but I'll keep a better eye on it. There we go. Uh, so there. What a jerk, man. There we go. You, so we need to grab one more. You. Now, wouldn't I have been super salty if that messed up? 
you. So that's going to start mining cobblestone. Now we need to set up a smeltery right in front of this thing. So the frustration is getting real. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No, two in a row. You're killing me right now, game. Okay, we have got to block that thing. And again, um, this is why we, this is why we make four. Oh my goodness, leave me alone. Uh, okay, so, um, let's see here. Uh, we'll put this right here. And I don't know if I can, I don't think I can attach that there. Let me go grab a, uh, I need a pickaxe or something. You Freaking creepers, dude. And let's try that back one spot. I don't know where to put this thing. I guess right here. Wait, so that can't attach to that? Maybe it can't attach to it because it's not a full smeltery just yet. Either way, if it doesn't automatically do it, I can do it myself. Uh, so now we need to build ourselves a smeltery here. And we are going to make the world's smallest smeltery. And so we're going to go here. And I must have forgotten my faucet. Faucets. You and then tank and then ha ha <laughs> world's smallest smeltery. Now, do I have any seared brick left over? I don't think I do. I forgot to make one thing, and that was a table. So I could make a, uh, make what we need. Do I have any other sand? I have that and that. That will not be enough. I need a little bit more sand. Okay, so we got to go out in the dangerous world here. We've died in like 84 times or close to. Is there any sand around here anywhere? I have to go to my go-to spot. <laughs> we need to like literally just make a tiny bit of grout. And we should be good to go. All the villagers are slepping. They're slepping. So my go-to spot, besides stealing all their carrots. Hello. It's right over here. So we need, uh, let's see, six pieces. No, seven. We need seven. Is that enough of everything? Seven, seven. And we need one gravel. Okay, so we'll smelt that. That'll give us a table. Then we'll make a redstone clock and a hopper to automate this. And then once that process starts going, we're going to be good to go. That's a... Oh, there's a big old slimy slime. He's just a slime in a slime world. Okay. And damn no... Can't do that. So, let's steal you and you, and then we're gonna make just a little bit more grout. Put that in there, put that in there. So that's gonna smelt and make a table, or we'll make a table out of it. Uh, we've got two for here, we've got enough for the ingot for the cast, and then uh, do, 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 you, you, and let's see. So we need a redstone torch. And then you, 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 you. So there's that. Got a chest, and we need to make a hooper. Hoopa dupa. There we go. So that's all taken care of. We're just waiting on that. So while we have that running really quickly, I'm going to go down here. Uh, I actually need another chest. I just realized. I shall steal you. You're in my castle. That's right. Give me all your goodies. Uh, I don't need like half of this stuff. 
There we go. Oh my god, it's so slow. One more to go, man. Come on, baby. So I hope you guys are going to like this series. I'm having a lot of fun. Besides it being incredibly challenging. Okay. There we go. Casting table. Table rule. So, come over here. Put that right there. And then... Um... We need to not block that. We need to come in here. I'm going to steal you again. I need to get gold in there. There we go. Can I stack those? No. So once that gold smelts, I'll do it again. And uh, I'm going to break this for now. Gold, please. So that'll make that, and then we can put the table right here, put the iron right there, and then the whole, like, lack of a pickaxe thing right now, not cool, man. I really need a pickaxe. I'm using these durabilities of two. This ain't working out for your boy. There we go. So over here. Um Oh, for the love of God. Is our uh is our gold done? There we go. One more. And so because we gotta make an ingot cast. So put the chest right here. Let's see if I can MacGyver this. MacGoover. Your boy nailed it. There we go. So once that gold is finished. Which is almost there. Now we can make an ingot cast. Ba bam. And then that one in there. So now we have just made an infinite loop. Uh, essentially, this is going to smell cobblestone. It's going to pour in there like a zillion times over. As long as it's pumping cobblestone. It's going to be good to go. And then we'll eventually expand this. But for now, we just got to let this sucker run. Because we need a lot, a lot of seared brick to even... I want to make it to where it'll hold at least a stack. So we got a little while to go here. Uh, in the meantime, I'll probably need to get more lava as well. So, so we're already running a little bit low on the lava. But other than that, we're doing good. So I think that is going to do it for this episode. I'd say we got a lot of finish. We made this entire castle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this first episode uh i think i think this is gonna be fun guys so i hope that you enjoyed it that's all i really care about is that you enjoyed it and other than that i hope you guys all have a fantastic day this is i jevin and peace out <laughs> bye everybody